We are living in a unique and dazzling era. A time in which an African American occupies the highest office in the nation. What do you say? Yeah. Well, since we are talking about Black Sabbath origins today, I think it is appropriate <laughs> to take a moment to acknowledge a person I refer to as the Adventist Barack Obama. The Adventist Barack Obama? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that Adventist Barack Obama? Does anybody know? Come on, somebody guess. Who's the Adventist Barack Obama? Jesus Christ? Ah. Uh, the Adventist Barack Obama, anybody? Yeah, yeah, my turn. Dr. Tober said my 20 minutes are, are counting down, so. Let me give you a hint. The Adventist Barack Obama is a man who hails from a Caribbean island. Marcus Garvey. No, Marcus Garvey wasn't a Seventh-day Adventist, unfortunately. Were any of you present at the 1990 General Conference session in Indianapolis? Just raise your hand. G. Ralph Thompson is a good guess. G. Ralph Thompson was actually the president of the General Conference, an interim president, and he was a black man. But I'm speaking of someone else. At the 1990 General Conference session, in Indianapolis, Indiana, George Brown, good, George Brown, a black man from Antigua and the Dominican Republic, was nominated president of the General Conference, the World Church of Seventh-day Adventists. So although race relations in the Adventist church have been spotty at times, there have been some bright points. What do you say? The Seventh-day Adventist Church nominated a black man 20 years before our nation did. I think that's significant. What do you say? 